Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to install Twingate on a Proxmox LXC running Ubuntu. So this makes to where you don't have to run Docker or anything like that. You can just run it straight on a, a Ubuntu. So a little bit about this series, I'm going over home lab. So remember installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So if you like that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. So you can go to twingate.com and get to it, and you can get a, a link down in the description. So uh, get your VPN. So um, this is not based on WireGuard from what I've uh, seen, um, but it's its its own proprietary uh, a network, a, z a zero trust network access, powerful access controls, a lot, a lot lightning fast speed, um, limit exposure, entry points, monitor your network activity, um, implement le least privilege access so uh, you can set up policies and, and different things like that to restrict their clients device intelligence in uni uh, universal uh, authentication so apply two-factor authentication biometric security key based any type of resource even SSH seamless compliance so SOC2 HIPAA GDPR and more so automate your journey to zero trust so you can actually have an api to where you can automate it so terraform lumi and api access so uh that's a, gra a graph ql and then architect it's for speed and reliability um securing fast growing companies and vpn replacement so let's get started installing it so now if you go back on the website and you go up to sign in right here, you can sign in with an existing network or uh, you can si sign up for Google, Microsoft, GitHub, LinkedIn. So uh, I'm going to get signed in and get signed in the network and then I'll be right back. So once you sign up or sign in, um, you're going to be uh, presented with a network up here. So you can add a remote network. So I'm going to add one. I'm going to say on-premise. Uh, AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, on-premise, or other, if you have other. So I'm going to say on-premise, and I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do uh, a big, big bear. Okay, I'm going to add a remote network. So now you'll have resources, and that's where you actually connect your IPs and your ports. And now you have connectors, so this is how it actually connects to your network. Um, you can have different connectors. Um, so I'm gonna um, delete this one and I'll be left with this one. So you can also go up here and add one if you want to. So I'm gonna deploy this connector and uh, you have Docker, Helm, AWS, Azure, Linux, AWS, AMI, Google Cloud, Terraform, Plumy, and Manual. So I'm gonna go to Linux because I'll be installing it on Ubuntu. So, uh, you'll see that you have a connector service down here, command that you run, but we're, we're going to first need to uh, set up to generate a to generate tokens. And then once we do that, the tokens will be on here. So I'm going to uh, pause it right here and generate my tokens and I'll be right back. So I generated my tokens. So um, you can also turn on local network uh, connection logs if you want to. Enabling local network connection logs will output all network uh, traffic activity to the S STD out on the connector host and make it easy to ingest data into a seam for more information. See the docs. That, they have really helpful docs, so you can look at those as well. So install and launch your connector service. So we have a, cur a curl command that we'll, we'll, we'll be running. So I'm going to copy this curl command. And I'm going to go over to my Ubuntu now and uh, paste this in and get it installed. So now I'm in my Proxmox and I'm going to go to my LXC, which is my Ubuntu installation. And I'm going to go to console and then I'm going to paste it in right here. The command that I, uh, that I co copied over on the website. And, um, and th this will start at the connector. It's going to run. It'll download the packages from AppKit. And it looks like it's up and running. So now we'll go and see about uh, 
if the connector is up and running. So now this page will update and on your connector it'll say controller is connected, relay is connected, it'll say, say the version number of the connector, and uptime, tight time offset, stun discovery, the, the host name of the connector, a, a pu public IP which is going to be your home ad, uh, IP address, and then private IP which is going to be your LXC. So it looks like we got the connector up and running, so now we can start testing it and, and getting the resources up. I'm going to go back to my network right here, and I'm going to go to add resource down here. And if you have multiple remote networks, you can, you, you can pick which one you want this resource to be on. And I'm going to just type in a resource name, so this will be an ad guard that I got on my uh, Proxmox. So I'm going to just type in my IP address. So this is going to be your IP address that's on your LXC or your Docker uh, or your Docker contain uh, uh, system like a Portainer or uh, some LXC I IP address. Anything that's on your network, it's going to have a local IP for your LAN. So a browser address, a background address, standard address, and an alias. So I can go ahead and create an alias, like if I wanted to to add guard or um, home. So I'm going to do ah.local. So I'm going to just uh, open up the port for 80. And you don't have to do this. You can allow any port you want. And you can also add multiple ports. So you can do this to where you can have, uh, so it'll allow 80 and 7200 and 80 and 7200. So TCP and UDP. So ICMP. So you can allow or block. This is where you ping it. Um, so here's some information. And I'm going to go ahead and create a resource right here. And I'm going to allow everyone to have it. Add group. So you can see it is on down here. So if you go in here, you can see that I've allowed 80, 7200, 80, and 7200. And I've also allowed pinging with ICMP. So we got it up and running. So let's test it now. So I had to change the alias around. I did have uh, ad.local. The .local seems to not be working. So I did change it to adguard.internal and on the alias, and that seems to be working now. I also had another issue to where the, um, the Twingate, the Mac client wasn't syncing up. And even when I changed the alias or anything about it, it did not sync up correctly. So what I did was I went into my Mac Wi-Fi settings and I went to my VPN and I removed the Twingate VPN and re-added it by saying lo lo log in up here. And um, that seems to fix the glitches that I was having. So now I'm going to go to the uh, adguard.internal alias and see if it works. So you can see it is working. So I am on a another network that I have. So uh, that network doesn't have access to my uh, my other network. So um, this shouldn't be working without the tw a twin gate working. So now I'm gonna go over my IP address now and just see if it works. And this should not work uh, since I'm on a different network too. So. It looks like it's working and Twingate's working correctly now. So that's how to get Twingate working and be able to access your network anywhere in the world. So I just showed you how to get Twingate working on a Proxmox LXE running Ubuntu. Uh, this makes it to where you can access your network anywhere in the world. So it's really neat. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any support questions or um, video suggestions, uh, go, go join our Big Bear community. It's a Discord that we made. So uh, I would love to have you on there. So you can also comment down below. So stay tuned for more.